not Rory fearing for Mount Komarebi. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? I thought they had to stay in their own town. I think I need to disable it. Oh my god. All right, we got to stop being more careful because she's going to like come and bite someone. Hello everybody and welcome back to my Sims and Bloom series. Today we are in the vet clinic starting things off today. I have Clover here and she's just talking. Uh, I think she's just trying to calm herself down at the moment because she's in a little bit of a angry mood. But we have all of our vets outside ready to start the day. We obviously have Gatori. We have... Uh, Deanna, who I think we hired last time. I don't think it's a new employee. I think she's a new employee. And then we've got Alveta. Oh, maybe Alveta's a new employee. I don't recognize that name. But we have some new employees today. We obviously fired um, Emmy, I think her name was, last time because she was really crap. So hopefully today will be a little bit better. But the goal for today's episode, obviously, is I still want to kind of grind a little bit um, Clover's skills and her career so we can try and wrap her up in the next few episodes but I don't want to just be grinding her too hard that it's boring so I thought we'd start off today in the vet clinic um hopefully get up to four stars because I think we're sitting on three stars for the career yeah we're starting on three stars hoping to get to four and then hopefully we can do some fun things with her and posy and obviously little lila is back in our house now too okay so finally the day is almost over and we've had we've finally got one of our vets treating a patient i feel like no one has come inside which is a little bit annoying there is this dog over here. Should we come and greet it clover's in a really bad mood though hey clover it's me zoe do you want to go out on a date no oh my gosh i just remembered in the last episode that zoe totally hit on clover and they were like kissing and smooching and stuff um yeah look we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen but i think i might invite zoe over and just like ask her to be friends so hopefully she stops flirting with us it's a little bit awkward that she keeps flirting with us um because she's dating our best friend but i don't know the sims is a bit weird we're definitely going to stay away from her though because clover is not allowed to have a relationship so there's no real point her getting too involved regardless all right thank you my little baby buttercup you can go home now clover does need to try and make um so feel the love with eight different pets which means we have to become good friends with a bunch of pets um so far we've got I think we probably have about eight pets in our household, even though some of them are ghosts. So we may have to see whether we can do it with the ghost pets as well. But for now, we'll just work on our vet skill. We'll try and do our very best today, even though we're in a super sour mood. I've called to inform you that your great, great, grand, second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? I know that if you go under what conditions, you just get money. And I know if, if you do ask um, for, like, if you go money, 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 you have to get married in seven days. And then you get a much larger amount. I think if Clover was in a relationship and we were going down that path, I would probably pick this one. However, since she's not allowed to get married, I'm going to go under what conditions. I'm going to get ourselves a little bit of money, which is nice. Okay, so this dog is healthy, but we'll give him a little bit of a shot anyway. And now we can build the owner. Thank you for coming. Radio, is there any more pets here that we can treat? Buttercup's just outside throwing up. <laughs> uh, oh, we can feel the love of Buttercup. Hopefully that counts as, oh baby. Oh my God, Buttercup's pregnant, isn't she? I literally forgot Buttercup was pregnant. All right, so we're gonna feel the love with Buttercup. Oh, that counts, I think. Mm, I don't think so. All right, so this cat has some interesting colored feet. Um, let's do an exam and look at the heart, I guess. Oh, this patient needs to be calmed. I'm gonna give it a shot to calm it down. And then we'll examine the mouth, we'll examine the heart. Um, we'll have to do a fur inspection because it's obviously brightly colored. And check the chart, of course. Okay, the cat has hot feet. I think we know that. Dry eyes, high, high temperature. Wonderful news. Okay, let's build this owner. And I think now I'm going to close the vet clinic for the day. No one seems to be treating any pets while this gun does. Disallow any customers. No, 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 no. Get out of here. As soon as this little cat has been treated. Look how cute this cat is, honey. Oh, bless. Um, I think we'll close the business. All right, so I've closed. We have made more money than we lost. Uh, 
luckily, but we are still are not making a lot of money. People are saying that the growth opportunity is the stress levels, but it's a little bit complicated because should we be like calming down the pet before we even start anything? But now, oh, we had three and a half stars just then, but I guess we don't anymore. Interesting. Okay, well, Clover's going to head home, have a nap, and I think we probably will come back tomorrow or we'll come back Sunday. Okay, back home now, and Buttercup is back home now as well. Buttercup was pregnant in the last episode, so I wonder when she's going to go into labor. Posey is here having a little bit of a dance. She seems in a pretty bad mood, to be honest, and as a typical teenager, she has left all of this mess for Clover to come and clean up. Um, and Lila's upstairs playing some video games, I think, or... Oh, she's browsing some websites and she's also scheduled herself to go mop up that puddle. That's so cute. Um, I guess it, I guess cleaning up runs in Clover's jeans, but not Posey's apparently because she's just <laughs> coming out to be her teenage self to do some yoga, but that's okay. <laughs> Buttercup just gave birth to a kitten. What would you like to call him? Interesting. Oh, Buttercup Chestnut is cute. Okay, let's go with Chestnut bloom oh it's a there's another kitten okay so buttercup and twins which means we're gonna have five cats in the house oh my god five cats all right um i need a second name okay so i got this cashew name come up and since we call the other one chestnut i think it suits quite well so we'll do chestnut and cashew i'm gonna forget those names but yeah she just had twins and now we have a full house. Okay, so this is Chestnut, who is the little boy cat. Oh my god, look how cute he is. Oh, Mama's so happy. Oh, I love how the little love heart came across. And then we've got Cashew, who looks like Lavender. That's really cute. Where is this cat? Oh, behind. Okay. All right. So since Clover wants to play video games anyway, I think I'm going to get her to enter her tournament. I'm not sure if we've played a video game this week. So I'm going to enter a tournament now and we'll see how she goes. I'm just going to enter like the beginner one this time because we never seem to win the like experience tournament. So I think we'll just give us, give a go at doing like a beginner one and hopefully we'll just like smash everyone. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately, Clover just quit her tournament to use the bathroom. I don't know whether that counted um, because she was doing it almost until the end and I wasted so much time. So I think we might try again tomorrow, but for now, I'm just going to send her to bed. Good morning, everybody. I have Posey downstairs this morning making some vegetable dumplings for breakfast for everybody. I thought it would be a good idea to get her to start getting up some of her skills a little bit, like her general cooking skills and stuff for when she moves out. I can hear some little babies crying. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> and we've got Clover upstairs. I've just entered her in a another video game tournament. We're hoping to try and... Um, you know, win that one. We need to get it done for the week. Since it is a Sunday, I think we might spend the day with the girls before they go into school tomorrow. And then we'll go into the vet clinic throughout the weekdays when they're actually at school. I'm not really sure what I want to do today though with, oh, of course a fire has started. Okay, so we got $300 and it costs $500 plus $300 to replace everything. So that was interesting. And you still have to make breakfast. Okay, maybe I should have gotten her started on like a salad or something. Can you come and make a garden salad, Posey? It's okay. Oh, poor bub. What a stressful morning for everyone. Oh, actually, you know what would be fun? If we hit the slopes today. Um, I haven't really explored Mount Komarebi in the save like super excessively like we obviously had a holiday when clover was a teenager but we've lived here our whole life and we actually haven't really done that much so i think it might be cute today to head up to the slopes or head up to the park maybe do a hike or something i feel like that would be really fun nice day to spend with the girls and i think we can bring riley along too which would be nice oh clover literally made a whole breakfast scramble in the time that it's taken posy to pull some tomatoes out of the fridge I don't think we completed our video game tournament again. I've wasted $80 on that now. <laughs> Glad I didn't enter the other one. I guess I'll wait. I'm going to say that counts as this week's one because I've literally tried to do it twice now and it's just cancelled on me. 
Oh no, it's almost Percy's birthday. <gasps> oh crap, how long has she got? She's got two days until she ages up, guys. What the heck? Oh my God, I can't believe she's gonna be an adult so soon. I'm not ready. Do you remember when we adopted her in our family and she was just a toddler and now she's almost an adult? That's really sad. Oh, the Festival of Youth is on today. I don't know if Lila would be interested in that. I feel like she would be, but I think we're still gonna go do like a hike or something instead. All right, now that we're all feeling really good, let's do some traveling. Um, obviously, we're gonna bring Posey with us, we're gonna bring Riley with us, and we're gonna bring Lila with us. Where is Lila? Down the bottom here. And I think we're gonna head up to the slopes first thing. <gasps> Why would Clover want to hang out with you, Riley? That's weird. Maybe if we head to this bar, we can do some hiking up here. And then I think afterwards we'll travel up to the slopes a little bit later. <laughs> the gang is all here. We're all a little bit stressed out. That's okay. I think we're going to head over to... Where is the little hiking trail? I know we've gone on it before. Ah, over here. Okay, so we're going to head over here and let's go for hike around the scenic route and we're going to take Lila with us and then I think on a separate hike I will send Posey and Riley. Posey and Riley are off on their little hike together. He's in a pretty bad mood. I don't know why he's yelling at us. <laughs> and then behind us we have little mum and daughter duo. Look how cute these guys are. <laughs> I'm literally like obsessed with watching them walk on the hikes. It's so cute. Clover's so mad though for some reason. <laughs> Look at us all stop checking maps. It's so funny. All right, these two are off again. I just love walking with them. <laughs> I'm just sitting here vibing. Oh, look at these two. They've stopped here at the little shrine. That's so cute. I think this one is interactive. I think we can come and like place a gift up here. Um, Maybe we'll come place a rose. Actually, I think Riley gave that to us. Maybe we won't place a rose. Why don't we place um this sage dripped candle that we made? That would be nice. <gasps> Oh my gosh, here they are. They've arrived at this little cave. How sweet is that? Can we shout and listen to Echo together? Oh, Riley's taking a photo. <laughs> oh, he looks angry. I think he's in a bad mood. Where are you headed? Oh no, Clover's under attack by a bug. <laughs> she has a little bug on her arm. She doesn't even care, she's just vibing. She's like, I'm a vet. I love animals. I don't care about this. <laughs> this is so funny. Look how sweet these two are. Oh my gosh, this seems like such a cute, perfect spot. <gasps> oh my gosh, why don't we blow a kiss to him? Aww, so sweet. What a cute, romantic little spot. <gasps> why don't we ask Riley to officially be our boyfriend? After everything, after our first kiss last time, I think Posey has got the confidence to now ask him if he wants to make things official and he has said yes. Oh my gosh, why don't we take a real selfie too? <laughs> Let's take a photo with, oh. Why can't we take a photo with Riley? Honestly, he's like one of the only people that she likes to have around. You know, she's like a loner sim. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if only he did that to us. All right, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we head over to uh, the slopes together with everyone, with our new boyfriend. Okay, so I think we have to actually come up to the onsen if we want to access it. So we'll head up here now. All right, here we are at the onsen. That's pretty cute. I think we're going to head over to the slopes over here. Oh, Clover's always getting a... <laughs> Who's goopy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think you should go for it. Do we know someone called Goopy? I don't think we know anyone called Goopy. That's pretty, that's pretty weird. Okay, whatever. All right, let's come over to a little bunny slope and let's go sledding um, continuously together. I think that'd be really cute if we all came sledding. Clover's really stressed out. Oh, from the fire this morning. All right, that's fair enough. Come on, babes. It's all right. Come relax. Posey's having a shower. She thinks she's going to go into the onsen instead, I suppose. All right, Posey's in the hot spring. She does not want to go sledding. That's fair enough. <laughs> She's hanging out with like a bunch of other kids in here. That's a little bit weird, but whatever. Oh, Riley is joining us as well. He obviously is wearing something. What are you heartbroken about, my love? <laughs> He's obviously got something in his hair all caught. Oh, we can actually woohoo with Riley. I don't think we will. We're still teenagers. 
and Clover is living her best life up the slopes. <laughs> Here she goes. She's doing pretty well. Oh, good jump in. I think we're gonna get it. Yes. All right, good work, my love. All right, I think it's time for everyone to now just like head home. It's nine o'clock already. It's been a long fun day with all of our friends and family, but it's time to officially head home and get some sleep, get some showers, get some food. And tomorrow the girls have school, so we definitely need some sleep. <laughs> Percy's feeling really happy. She has a close connection with Riley. She's happy about her selfies and her cloud gazing. I wonder if she got any new sentiments with him. Okay, so they know they now have boyfriend, best friend, soulmates, perceived as very attractive. I think it used to be extremely, so I don't know what's changed for her to think he's just very attractive now, but it's still a good thing. And her sentiments about him is a oh, Prozy's yeah, jam a jamtastic gift, deeply connected, and he thinks that they're deeply connected too, which is nice. Okay, everyone is home now. I am just going to get their needs up a little bit and then send them all to bed. And I'll check back in with you all in the morning. Uh, something's happening. <gasps> Buttercup is dying. Guys, Buttercup just died. <gasps> oh no, she just birthed her two last babies and now this is the end of her life. Rest in peace, my little baby. Buttercup, that was so sad. I'll put her up next to P, next to your brother. That's five cats we've lost now. We still have four in the house though. Clover's had a lot of cats her whole life. Oh, rest in peace, Buttercup, my love. I mean, we knew it was coming, but it's still sad nonetheless. And that's like all of the kitten's mom, except for Napoleon. It's like Napoleon's wife. Napoleon's baby mama. All right, Clover, your needs are really bad. All right, I'm gonna sort out these guys' needs and I'll check in later. Good morning, everybody. We're up nice and early today. Clover's thinking about babies, which she's not having anymore, unfortunately, and she's quite upset about her cat. But I have got her working on her programming skill this morning. How close are we to level 10? We're on level eight, which is good. I think I might spend the day inside the house with Clover today. I wanna get her to try and um, become friends with the new kittens and feel the love. I think if we feel the love with like the like at least three of these kittens we will complete our aspirations so that is the goal um and then besides from that i do want to try and get up our programming skill a little bit today and then i think we'll go into the vet tomorrow but i don't want to play the vet too many days in a row because it gets a little bit boring so i think if we stay home today and work on some skills and then go into the vet tomorrow that's sort of the preference but we'll see how we go girls are both heading off for school now have a good day you guys uh let's do some hard studying <laughs> Running the class, the teacher has had to step out for a second to talk to a parent. She asked Posey to run the class for a little while. Should Posey keep following the lesson plan the teacher laid out or do something fun and easy with her classmates? Um, I think she'll just follow the plan. And she got a performance gain small, which is really good. Thank you, Posey. Oh, and she, right after that, she's forbidden words. Um, I think Clover would just say they're just words. <laughs> she's pretty carefree, our little Clover. That's why we love her. <laughs> We're so close to level nine now. We've only got 5% left. I'm just gonna fast through it and hopefully we'll get reach level nine of the programming skill in just a second. <gasps> Yay, level nine programming skill. Okay, I'm gonna just let her continue making her app for a little bit. How, oh, maybe actually I won't. Sorry, Clover, the cats need food. <laughs> Please come and fill up all of our pet bowls and why don't we come and spend some time with some of the new kitties? I don't think we've even said hello to them yet. So obviously we have a little cashew down here. Let's come and give a comforting hug. Maybe the new cats will make us feel better about losing Buttercup. Aww. <laughs> the cats are so cute in The Sims. I'm literally dying. I'm just getting to know little Cashew now. I'm hoping we can feel the love with Cashew if we become good friends. It's been fairly easy so far to get to know Cashew because Clover's obsessed with cats, so she automatically loves every single cat. And then we've got our little um, Chestnut and Napoleon playing over here. Lila and Posey have both returned with a school project. That's fine, we're not gonna do it because we're about to age up and we're already an A student, so who cares? <laughs> Posey, I want her to come upstairs and to work on her skills a little bit. Why don't you come play some 
violin, my lovely. And Posey, why don't you come and play with your kitchen? Or oh, is it not, is it broken? I think it might be broken. Okay, that's fine. Come make some spring crafts. I think that's cute. Aww, little kitty. Clove's in a much better mood now, to be honest. We've just been playing with the cats literally all day. <laughs> We're feeling the love with Napoleon. I hope it counts. Yes! Oh my gosh, six out of eight. Yay! And then I think the last two kittens will also count, but I don't know if I can do it until they are adult cats because they're still kittens at the moment i'm not getting any options to do it unfortunately all right guys it's around 10 o'clock at night now we didn't really get up to much today i was honestly trying to bond with the cats basically all day and we're at a point now where we can feel the love with them but i don't know if we can because they are kittens I'm not getting the option to but I'm good friends with both of the new kittens so I'm hoping once they age up um, hopefully we will get to feel the love and complete our aspiration they are two days out of one overdue so they should be aging up literally any minute now but I am going to end this one here because it is Posey's birthday tomorrow and I want to celebrate her birthday properly with a nice party or something she will be at school but we will do something in the evening for her or we'll get her to take the day of school I'm not really sure yet but if it's Posey's birthday that also means Riley is gonna age up um, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't finish Clover's generation in time for Posey to age up into a young adult but we will start playing with them both in the next episode a little bit more um, I do need to still focus on Clover quite a bit though because she still has her career to complete um, some skills to complete and her aspiration I feel like I'm starting to fall behind a little bit so I think I might actually send her into the vet clinic um, alone after we age up Posey and hopefully I can just grind through it without the distraction of filming <laughs> Um, so let me know if you think of that. Um, I know it's a little bit boring to be watching it all the time because it's the same stuff over and over. Oh my god, not Rory fearing for Mount Comrebi. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? I thought they had to stay in their own town. I think I didn't disable it. Oh my god. All right, we gotta start being more careful because she's gonna like come and bite someone. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already. I did notice that about half of my viewers are not subscribed and that's okay if you don't want to, but it really does mean a lot to me if you do. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.